All right, so one of the things when I got my, again, my VX6, I wanted to do simplex right off the bat, but there are some settings in the machine on the VX6 and also on the Yaesu uh, FT3D that doesn't allow you to do simplex uh, very quickly without understanding and going into the settings. So when you first turn on the machine, especially if you've never used the FT3D, what do you do? Okay, first thing I would recommend is um, choose a channel, doesn't matter which one. I'm going to use the bottom one here. And I'm going to click and hold on the AB button. Now instead of two channels or two frequencies, I have one. And Simplex only uses one. Okay, that's good. You might see a plus sign, maybe, or not. Okay. Um, it really doesn't matter because we are going to get rid of those if you do have it. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is uh, we want to go into the automatic repeater shift um, setting. So we want to go to display, click and hold display, and then let's go to config, config or configuration. Let's go to number 14, uh, which is uh, RPT ARS and then you can click on display to enter okay gotta make sure that that's off and it is so we're gonna go back put that off next thing we want to do is the uh, repeater shift direction which is I think number 15 here is the shift click on display here for enter it says positive let's make sure it's simplex so we go back now it's on simplex awesome and I think we're good for now uh, let's go back and back one thing about having an having um, it being in this screen here, right? Pressing the pressing holding the A B button for a single frequency is that I can access the F button here. Click on that. And what we want to do is select the squelch type to none. Um, squelch type or tone squelch is the thing that allows you to get into a repeater or it's a tone that's mixed into the signal. Okay, so that, let's see if we click on forward here. Ah, SQ type. You click on that. You got to make sure that's off. See, it could be on any of these. I'm going to turn it off and we'll go back. Okay, see that we don't have a plus or negative sign anymore. Okay, and I think we're done um, for simplex. Now, if you press this button, these numbers won't change, and you'll be talking to someone on that frequency. Especially if you go something like the F button here, and you click on scope, and you're like, oh, I wanna, I wanna listen to this person here. Or this person here. Can we hear? No. Nothing, on, nothing going on there, huh? Well, let's pretend there was something going on there. If there was, then you can hear them and you can, you know, ask permission to talk to them or a comment or something uh, or talk to them afterwards. But the thing is, um, if you know that frequency is for simplex, then that's the way to do it. Okay, so that's how you set it up for simplex.